Yo what is up guys, Brandon here from Red Black Productions and today I'm going to teach you how to create this short intro using Final Cut Pro 10. So first what we're going to do to create this intro is we're going to go over here on our generator button. Now select custom and drag it onto our timeline. Now we go and press OK keeping all these video settings. Now this is going to be our background and one of our colors. We can choose whatever color we want, but for this example, I'm going to keep mine black. Now we go back to the generators, go to select custom one more time, and drag it on top. Make sure they're exactly the same length. Now for this one, we're going to make it a different color than the previous, the one below. So to change color, what we're going to do is go to our inspector window, make sure we're under video, color, and correction one. Now click on this arrow tool, and let's change the color from there. For this example, I'm going to make it red nice red. Now that we have this selected a different color, we're going to go on our viewing screen over here, then click on this transform button, and let's move it to the side. Make sure it's a little about there. So essentially what we want to create is this, this kind of um, color scheme going on, how one half of the side is a different color than the other. Let's, let's make it a little bit here to so make it even. All right, now that we have this going on, we're gonna go back to the timeline and select both clips, right click and press new compound clip and press okay. So essentially what I did was merge both clips to create one new clip. So here we go. Now we're gonna go back to the generators Go to custom again and drag it on top. Now we select this um, transform button and let's move this to where the red was so we get two blacks. Now what we're going to do is make sure it's covering the red and drag it down and press done. Now we're going to go back to generators and go to custom again, drag it on top change the color to exactly the same as the red, so we've got a color correction over here, make sure it's exactly the same, so make sure you remember these or whatever method you used. Go back over here, now we go on this transform button, and let's move the red so it's covering the black this time, and drag it below. So essentially what we have is we have a red to cover up the, to move up to cover up the black side and a black to cover up the red side. So to do this, make sure we, we uh, set our cursor to the start of our clip. Now we're going to keyframe. So to keyframe, make sure we have one color selected. For this instance, we're going to use the black first. Now we're going to go on this keyframe button over here. So just select it. Now let's move up about two seconds. So on your keyboard, hold shift and press right twice to go up two seconds. So one second, two second. Now let's go and move up the black so it covers up the red. All right, now that we have that done, it's time for the red's turn. So we click on the red this time, go back to the start of a clip, press the transform button, here it is. So press the keyframe button over here. Now go up two um, seconds, so hold shift, press right twice, one, two. And let's go and move it over here. Now let's go and make sure it's exactly the same place. Oh, no. and press done. Now let's go and watch our video. So essentially that's what we just created. We created like a kind of checkerboard kind of theme going on right now. Now that we're happy with that, let's go and select everything. So go and select everything on the timeline, make sure we have the background, the black and the red, everything selected, right click 
and press new compound clip one more time. And press OK. Now I've merged all three clips to make one clip again. So as you can see, it's all one clip. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the part where the animation finishes. So finishes about there. So we're going to go over here, get our blade tool, and just cut over here where it finishes. And now since this is pretty much exactly the same over here, what we're going to do is just select any bit. So let's cut over here, over here, go back to the selection tool, and let's go and drag it on top. Usually I'd go and copy, but since this is pretty much the same, since we didn't touch it, we can just use that, so this is what it looks like. Nothing really. So what we're going to do is go back over here to our generators, go to custom again, I know, we're going to always use in custom, and we go and put it underneath our video. And let's go and adjust this. Now this, we're going to go and change it a totally different color. For now, let's go and put it over here on the side so we can see it. And let's go and change the color. So we go to color, correction 1, over here in this arrow, and let's go and change the color of this. Let's make this a completely new color. I'm going to go and make it maybe like a... Hmm. Maybe go... Let's make it a gray. There we go, that's a nice gray. Now that we have our new color, let's go and drag it below. Make sure we always drag uh, the new color below. Now what we're going to do is go over here to where we have our cut. Now the start of this clip, we're going to go over here on our transform button, but instead of transforming, we're going to go and select crop. Now make sure it's set to trim and make sure we trim it so we're only getting the black. Now we're going to go below over here. Now we're going to go on the trim as well, the crop, make sure it's set to trim. Except this one, we're going to only select red. Okay, so essentially what we did was this clip should be only the black, and this one should only be the red. Now what we're going to do is we're going to animate it so it, they both spread out. So let's go to the start of the clip. Let's go do the red first, so we select the red. Now we go over here, the crop, but make it go to transform. Now we're going to go over here on the... Ooh, I didn't... appears I didn't crop it properly. So we're going to go and select one of them, let's go and select the red, go over here, set it to transform, go over here on the keyframe button, now let's go, let's make it two seconds again, so hold shift, right twice, one, two, now let's go and drag it outside. Now we're going to just do the same with black. We we'll go to the start, go over here on the transform, go to keyframe over here. Now let's go up two seconds, so hold shift, right twice, one, two. And let's go and drag it to the side. And press done. So now let's go and watch our video. And there we go, we have our intro. But what we can do is, what, I, what I'd usually like to do, because this is pretty boring, all we have is shapes and colors. So what I'm going to do is go over here on the text, and I'm going to go to... Hmm, well, what's a good animation? I just choose custom. So I'm going to get custom, I'm going to drag it over here, 
just on top of our new color but still below the animation. Now I'm going to call it Red Black Productions. And let's let's make it bold and just a little bit bigger. Okay, so now let's go and watch our video. And there we go. That's pretty much that's pretty much how we make an intro, uh, a short intro, a minimalistic intro using Final Cut Pro 10. There are many ways to make many intros, but this is just a simplistic intro that I personally like, and I use something similar in my early days of making tutorials of these on, on this channel. So what I did was I put. Um, uh, I put titles over here, disguising it in exactly the same color so when the color changes to black it would show up. But yeah, you can do whatever you like and this is, how, this is just my own way of how to make a very short minim minimalistic intro in Final Cut Pro 10. So I hope you guys like this, thumbs up, comment if you want to see me making more intros in Final Cut Pro 10, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!